these things. Hey, buddy! Hey there, mister. Hey there. Mind if I join you? Mind if I... if I talk to you? Fellas sometimes mind, and sometimes they don't mind, and... ain't no way of knowing. I don't mind. Oh, I like you. You're kind. I like kindness. I ain't so kind. Now, that ain't true. Ain't true at all. Most folk won't spare me the time of day. But you did. You did. And it was real nice. Real nice. Can I... Can I hold you, mister? Whoa, I'm... <laughs> I got a woman. Ah, oh, I'm sorry, mister. I didn't mean nothing by it. I just kind of like folk, but most folk don't like me. Ah, uh, no harm done. Ain't ever harmful to be held, mister. Only most folk find me creepy and, and strange, uh, which ain't nice. I guess not. What's your name? John. Or, uh, Jim. You don't know? That's funny. <laughs> I used to know a fella a bit like you. A few years back, crazy kind of fella. But he had a heart on him. What was his name? I forget. Funny face. Alan. Or something, I think. He didn't like me much, neither. But he was okay. I think he died. They always do. The good ones. He weren't a good one. He was, well, he was good and bad. And it's hard to say quite what he was in the end. That's so. Sure. That's so. I can kind of see that. Well, it's been fun talking, mister. My name's Mickey. Mary Beth. John? John, is it you? How the hell are oh, you? I'm very well. How are you? I'm good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Abigail, is she? She's well. Jack's growing up. Sweet boy. Not anymore. <laughs> but he's okay. How are you? I'm well. I, I'm right now. Silly romances, but it's fun. Oh, it's such fun. <laughs> Do you? My pen name is Leslie DuPont. It's sort of French, sort of ambiguous. Well, the books are unambiguously awful, but they sell. Good for you. I'm so proud. I still think about you all. That was... That was quite a time. Yeah. Arthur. Arthur saved my life before he passed. I don't talk about him much, but I think about him. Me too. And Dutch? <laughs> Ran off someplace. All aboard. Such a shame. Last call. Oh, anyway, John, I better get on my train. It's really lovely seeing you. Oh, here. It's for you. Thank you. Take care now. Bye.
What in the hell is wrong with you? Hey, watch where you're going. Now, you see, Helen, Acri here is a silly boy. And Protus isn't a boy at all, but a chimpanzee that a man shaves a face into every day. Now, that's very useful if you need to climb a tree, but a good conversationalist it does not make. He was always a sickly child, sickly and weird. I have no idea why he followed me out to the West. He would have been better off staying at prep school or going to the seminary. I've spent my whole life horsewhipping this scoundrel, but to no avail. You can't punch, my sweet. It's sad, really. Oh, my, our friend. Hello? I bet you can punch. Do me and the lady a favor here, would you? And thrash this impudent wretch. Thrash? No man alive can thrash me. What was your name, sir? John. John could, easily. You, maybe, but not me. I know. Punch us both, as hard as you can. You'll break his glass jaw, and I'll be left standing. The knight and the knave. Good idea. Hit me, then. Dear boy, give the feeble fellow a little tap and watch him crumble. Uh... Come on! <laughs> you really walloped him! Right, yikes! I'm fine. Come on! Ooh, look there! I got a proper chin! Not Good. like that toe rag. Good lord above! Doesn't hurt. Oh. Hey, hey, hit me again! again. Right here! Right here. Oh. Weren't you taught never to hit girls? Punch a man for once! Give me your worst! Here I stand! Oh. I think he's done for! Barely even felt it! Oh, there's only one thing for it, then. Hit me in the manhood. Don't worry, sir. Mine are made of steel. Real steel, huh? <laughs> My turn! <laughs> Enough, gentlemen? Yes, oh. I think so. Oh, I slipped, and I hope you killed the leprechaun. But he's still alive? Shoot him, please, one of you. There, there, up you get. We need to get some steak on those wounds. Madam, gentlemen, good luck to you. Whatever got into your heads? <sighs> Look out! Oh, I'm sorry. Howdy. New in town? Snake oil. You have no idea the trouble I had to go through to get that. If you're going to want to stay sharp, I should have a stock available. Look in my catalog. Let's just see what you got. Does the trick. Another? All right. That's the deal. One more? Of course. Again? We'll take it. One more? Of course. Uh huh. Another? All right. Sure.
Guaranteed. Plenty of other essentials in here. Thanks for your time. Ain't after no funny business, okay? I'll take one. Make sure you come back tomorrow. Howdy. told you to leave it, Bubba. And I thought to myself, who this little girl thinks she's telling anything to? Uh, enjoy your drink in peace. <laughs> I ain't got no business with you right now. What that mean? For the last time, leave me alone. Or what? Ah! Ah! What was that? Get the hell out of here before she kills us all. You, you. Get out of here. On Marston. It is good to see you. <laughs> I thought I heard a rumor you was alive. Jim Milton, that you? Guess I didn't do a real good job of hiding my identity. <laughs> we didn't hear nothing about you. You, you killed a feller up by Roanoke? Sure did. I thought that sounded like you and Abigail and Jack. She? She's fine. <laughs> She was always so kind to me. I'm looking to buy some property. Beecher's Hope, west of Blackwater. I'm kind of a farmer now. <laughs> and you? Oh, you know how it is. Bounties mostly and some other stuff, good and bad. Hey, you any interest in bounties? No, uh, I've gone straight. Huh? Sort of. <laughs> well, it's legal, I'm usually. Then... Maybe. Come on, then. What? Where are we headed? Strawberry. Got on the run from New York. Good price for him. What'd he do? Rob a bank. With a gun? No, with a pan. He's an accountant, I think. Sounds easy. Come on. We got a bit of a ride. I know. Your telegram. You said you had something to discuss. I didn't think we'd be chasing down an outlaw. There's something else. What? Micah. Micah? I think so. I heard of someone sounded like him uh, about a year back. Okay. We always said if we found him. I know what we said we'd do. That ain't changed. I didn't think I'd see any of you again after you left for the Yukon. Now we came back. Didn't strike it rich, as you can see. But you're a rancher now. I aim to be. Probably why I can't afford it. <laughs> this country's becoming real civilized. That folk won't be around for long. Nathan Kirk, banker, bald, 45. Okay. You hit up that way. I'll meet you in a bit. Say, I mean to meet my friend in town, but I don't know where he's staying. Bald New Yorker, Nathan Kirk. You know where he is? Afraid I don't know. You seen a... You seen a 
Bald New Yorker. Name of Nathan Kirk. About 45. No, sir. If we get plenty of New Yorkers here. It's resort town, you see. The Adirondacks of the West, the mayor calls it. But <laughs> I can't remember any of the bastards. Okay. Ask in the general store or the post office. They tend to know who's in residence for the season, as we say. Season? Good lord. Excuse me, friend. I'm looking for a Nathan Kirk, fellow from New York. Got any mail for him? Kirk? Kirk? No, not so as I would remember. Curly, I think. Well, she's a woman. <laughs> Ask in the Welcome Center. Most tourists check in there. Okay, thank you. Center. What now? You head in there and try to flush him out. I'll go get the horses and then wait here. And grab him if he tries running. Easy enough. Should be. You, uh, you seen a fella? A fella from New York? Bald guy? Yeah. A few New Yorkers come here in search of the West. This one's a wanted man. I work for the government. Uh, s s sort of. His name's Nathan Kirk. Mr. Kirk? But he's so charming. Is he staying here? He's, uh, up in room three. I'm gonna go pay him a visit. It's government business. How exciting. Mr. Kirk! Mr. Kirk, you in there? Who is it? It's Jake! <gasps> Stop! Hey! That's Nathan Kirk! Go! Oh, got him? Oh, shut up! Come on, jump on! Hey, good girl now. We gotta get after him. Remember, we want him alive, though. I know. Thanks for that, Mr. Kirk. Real fun. I, I'm an innocent man, but it's all a mistake. My wife, my wife is a, is a desperate woman. How, how you buried, sir? None of your business what I am. She made me do it. She broke me. I did bad, but I'm not bad. There is a difference. Innocent until proven otherwise. Just put him on my horse, okay? From here, it's a one-woman job. Where shall I send the money? I ain't been paid yet. Hold on to it for me. Need to speak to the bank over in Blackwater. Get a loan for the property. Might make them happy to see I've got a boss. No, I've got a couple of other leads I could use your help with if you're interested. 
I'm usually at the saloon in Blackwater. I need money pretty bad, so I'll come find you. Hi there, come on in. Sure, you can look. Don't try me. Ain't it time for you to leave yet, or...? waiting for then.
Ain't it time for you to leave yet, or...? <laughs> You're Why, a good hello. fellow. You out to trouble me? Can I help you? I hope so. <clears throat> I want a loan, sir. A line of credit, so I can buy some property. What property? An old ranch, Beecher's Hope. <laughs> oh, that old dump? I, I know it ain't much, but I ain't much of a farmer either. But I will get there. That is a very unusual way of asking for a loan. Mr. M Marston. Marston. Only folk around here call me Milton. It's kind of a joke, I guess. <laughs> a joke, huh? And which folk? Mr. Geddes. Uh -huh. I work for him. He said that you could help me out. I mean, if you can. So old David Geddes told you I'm the kind of man to loan a man with two names money so he can buy a rundown farm on account of his lack of farming skills, huh? <laughs> Don't sound too promising when you put it like that. <laughs> well, how would you put it? Sorry to waste your time, sir. Oh, sit down. I'm sure we can figure something out. Now, of course, we'll be expecting you to make regular payments, and given a lack of much evidence you got any means of repaying, the terms won't be too great. But if my cousin vouches for you, it'll be okay with the bank. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Now, of course, we'll be expecting our money back regular as clockwork until the debt's settled. Otherwise, the farm reverts to the bank, no matter how much you paid. I understand. Mm -hmm. Well, why don't you go check out the land while I fix the contracts and talk to Mr. Geddes. Oh, I heard there's squatters up there. We've been having so many problems recently, they'll need clearing on. Sure. Well, come back when you're done and we'll fix up the paperwork. Yeah, it's me again. You itching for trouble or what? Can I help you, friend? I hope so. Who's in charge here? No one, mister. This is a free country. <laughs> now that I ain't so sure about. Listen, I'm buying this land. I'm afraid... I'm afraid you guys are gonna have to go somewhere else. Who's this? I ain't sure. Some fancy dang city boy says he owns this land. 
Well, he's gonna. Owns it? That's what he says. Okay. And how come we live in here? I ain't sure. Look, take some money. Go try and find somewhere else to stay. You for real, friend? Sure, take it. <laughs> You're a real gentleman. Okay, boys, let's go celebrate. <laughs> Thanks, mister. <laughs> Ah, it's you, the man with two names and no past. Come on in. How'd you make out? Well, let's just say there are no more squatters. Okay. Well, I got your paperwork ready. Now, you sure about buying this place? It's really run down, and the price isn't too great. I think it would mean a lot for my wife. At least mean I was listening to her. Okay. Well, sign here and here. Now we own you, Mr. Marston, and we own Mr. Milton, too, and we own your property. But you can buy your freedom each week. Eventually, you will be a homeowner. I understand. Congratulations. You are now a real American, indebted and owned by the bank. <laughs> I'm joking. They own me. They just own your property. Now, you can also use this line of credit for any home improvements you need to make, of course. I can? Sure. Be good, Mr. Marston. Welcome to home ownership. It's a beautiful thing. Let your wife know what to complain about. I'm <laughs> just joking. Well, it is you. Well, I never. I, I thought you was dead, boy. Dead. Uncle? The very same. Come here. <laughs> I saw you going into the bank, and by the looks of things, you ain't robbed it. I've gone straight. Oh, bull crap. No, for real. <laughs> well, I'm trying. All these years, you ain't changed a bit. Maybe a little bit. I thought you was dead. <laughs> not yet. Well, I got some things to take care no, of. Oh, not a problem. I'll come too. <laughs> no, you don't have to. Oh, no, I'm real sick, John. Lumbago. It's a slow and painful death, my brother. Evidently. Oh, have a little pity, will you? Huh? Come on, then. All right. <laughs> you going to mount up or what? Follow me. West. West? Oh, God, ain't you a man of few words? I can see we're headed west. You know, speaking in monosyllables don't make you seem interesting. It makes you seem stupid. I don't care how I see. Well, now, where west are we headed, you damn grunting fool? This ranch I... A ranch I bought just now. Is that what you were doing in the bank? Spending all your money? On a ranch in the armpit of West Elizabeth. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Not that that's any of your concern, but I was in the bank borrowing the money. Well, that's even worse. Yeah, you can run from a bounty, John. You can't run from a bank. Is Abigail there? No. She's. Uh... 
Uh, heard Jack waiting until I'm set up before joining me out here. <laughs> you mean she left you? Oh, I never thought she was a smart woman, but, you know, this makes me think maybe I was wrong. <laughs> no more of that. I just bought this place. And you're lucky I'm showing it to you and not looking for a place to bury you out here. Look at her. Okay. What do you think? Why exactly did you buy this dump? For Abigail? Why? Is she an idiot? No. What were you thinking? I don't know. She said she wanted it. She ever seen it? What are we going to farm here? <laughs> Rocks? We? You don't have a hope here without a wise hand at the tiller. Enough of that. Get out of here. On your way. No, you're stuck with me. Seems I'm stuck with you. John, the rock farmer. <laughs> so, you think I'm an idiot? No. <laughs> I know you're an idiot. I'm back, girl. Hang in there, girl. <laughs> 